What's up travelers? We are in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And in this video, we're going to Wat Chedi Luang. It's on the UNESCO heritage site. So check it out. Entrance into the Chedi Wat Luang complex is free for Thai nationals, but it is 40 baht for foreigners. The Lak Muang, or the city pillar of Chiang Mai, was first erected in the year 1296 CE at Wat Sadu Muang, temple of the navel of the city on in Thawarat Road by King Mangrai, the king who established the Lana dynasty. It was brought to its present location. Here it is enshrined underground and worshipped by the Thai people, especially those from Chiang Mai. Women and inappropriately dressed men are forbidden to enter the shrine. The belief is that disobeying this rule will cause social instability. The frescoes in this little temple are absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, I'm not very aware of what the stories that they are telling are. So enjoy the artwork. On the grounds of Wat Chedi Luang, you will find three enormous dipterocarp trees that were planted by King Chao Kawila in the year 1800 to assist the city pillar in protecting the town. Sadly, this beautiful sermon hall was closed for renovations. It was originally built in 1928 and is known for its three-tiered roof golden ornate decoration, as well as the Buddha statue housed inside called Pra Chao Adarat that was made during the 14th century along with the original construction of Wat Chedi Luang. Wat Chedi Luang is arguably the most important temple in Chiang Mai. This UNESCO ruin is more than 600 years old and has yet to be completely restored. Construction of this beautiful temple started 
towards the end of the 12th century and lasted nearly 80 years till completion. And it was built to house the ashes of the father of King San Myung Ma. I likely totally mispronounced that and I apologize. This is a reproduction of the famed Emerald Buddha that was originally housed here at Wat Chedi Luang. If you want to see the original, it is in Bangkok at Wat Pra Nakong. The sculptures of the Naga at the entrances of the Chedi are absolutely fierce looking. This large statue of the reclining Buddha is actually a very small copy of the one that is at Wat Po in Bangkok. You can check that out by clicking the link at the top right of the video right now.
Prabuddha Ratana Naganafisi. The image was made in the Nak Prok posture. Its lap from left to right measures 40 inches. The image stands three and a half meters weighing 15 tons. It is put on the canad of the five-headed great serpent, aka the Naga. In the year 1545, the temple suffered an insurmountable amount of damage in a crazy powerful earthquake. It fell into even more disarray when it was hit by cannon fire during the Burmese conflict back in 1775. One of the cool things about visiting the Wat Chedi Luang complex is if you have any questions about the meaning of life or anything like that, you can actually sit down and talk to one of the monks. They'll give you the best answers that they have. So if you've enjoyed this video and you like this kind of content or you like content that's based around travel and food, go ahead and like and subscribe and all that good kind of stuff and we will see you on the next one.